Welcome to the Old Boar's Mini Builds. Small cities, perfect for detailing. This is the third video on Mods for Beginners, where you'll learn how to choose between several map themes in-game, so that you're not restarting your game to see what each one looks like. I use the Theme Mixer 2.5 mod to do this quickly, and to get exactly the look I want. I'm also using the Load Order 2 mod, so that you can see what I'm doing here. This is the load order tool, which I use to make sure all my themes are loaded before I start the game. It takes about half an hour to load this many themes. Also, remember the last one you subscribe to so that you can make sure it's there. The theme mixer 2 will also allow you to mix between two or more themes, but I normally just choose one. This is the Montebello theme. It's 174 megabytes. A map theme will change the appearance, the effects, and the terrain textures of your map. These images are showing you the difference between the vanilla terrain textures and the themes textures. The larger the file size and resolution of your map theme, the more it will affect the FPS of your gameplay. So choose according to the power of your computer. So let's jump into my map. I like to get down close to the road and the grass textures. I also point up at an angle so that I can see my mountain textures and the sky. After all, this is where I'll be spending most of my time building a city. Open the Theme Mixer 2.5 and click the top icon. This is my current theme. This is the 4K Praria theme. These themes come with the mod. Click on each one and start making a list of your favorites. Once you narrow down your list, go back and forth between them until you get exactly the theme you want to play with. If you're using a tropical map, you'll want to get near the shoreline and take a look at your sand and watercolors. These also change with your map theme. Periodically, I'll unpause the game and use dynamic resolution to check my FPS. So after searching about 30, I chose the Solstice map theme. Once I have my map theme chosen, I also open Daylight Classic and adjust those settings. So let's choose the LUT. Click this icon and open the panel. I have the Laviante LUT selected. Holding your pointer over the panel allows you to scroll through those. Also, I like to plop down a building to make sure that I like the look of it. So in the end, I chose Clarity as my LUT. There's also another mod where you can change the latitude and longitude, which makes a big difference in the way your game looks. It's called Play It. So some people mix the themes, but the old boar likes to keep things simple. I just choose one map theme and one LUT. I'll be building a city soon, so stay tuned. And thank you for watching the old boar play city skylines. Take care now.